Hi, Julie. I've been reading my Bible quite a bit, as well worn as you can see, and I know you have been too. And one thing it says in here that all things work together for good to them that love God. And I know you love God and I love God. And God also says, vengeance is mine, I will repay. So we leave things in his hands. And also is that our health depends upon us being joyful and happy. I wrote you a letter and I'm gonna to try to read it to you here so that you'll get it sooner. It says, dear Julie, I'm writing you this letter because I love you and I miss you. My thoughts of you are kind and full of compassion. At the moment, I am in Red Bluff sorting through papers in the little white trailer. It is too painful to sit in a chair, so I'm laying down on a mattress on the floor. I came across a letter from your attorney. It was sent to Melody in Nevada. I have questioned my kids regarding any communication with you, and it seems there is a simple misunderstanding. I hope this letter finds you trusting God and open to my explanation here. My recovery from hip surgery has not gone well. I cannot begin to explain the level of pain and constant agony I endure day and night. My children have purposely tried to manage my mail and other financial matters. I have not been able to. Finding out you hired an attorney was a surprise, especially going after me when I'm in a helpless condition and a loyal friend and more, more like a family. Medical was not covering my surgery and so a senior legal aid attorney contacted me offering help. A lady at in-home support services had them, him call me. I did not hire this attorney and it was free. He called me first. He asked me a lot of questions and kept me on the phone for almost an hour. Thankfully, the share of cost was understood and reduced. When I talked to Wally on the phone, I was shocked at his aggressive words. I didn't call him. Stephen did well in Canada. I, it was a three-way conference call. I was left alone in the house and my daughter after 10 days had to go back to work in Nevada. And it, my son was going back to his wife overseas. Although I have seen your sudden personality change and how you treated your mother and Wally and others, I was not prepared for you to turn against me. My heart hurts with you over the death of your family members, and I have always defended you, and I believe my genuine effort to be generous with my labor and loyalty and pointing you to Jesus would result in loving me back and showing a level of respect and kindness during surgery and recovery. What Wally said to me really concerned me. I remembered you throwing your mother's stuff and out and calling the police and refusing to give her one more day when she begged. She was nearly 80. Wally assured me he was not angry at me. He was just letting me know that you were out of your mind and heading over to cause me harm. Wally emphasized that I did not know you as he did and that I was in great danger. I thought about the name of your business, Loving Care. I lay there in agonizing pain, unable to get up. I was terrified at the thought of you coming in the door in a rage like I have seen you. My nerves were shot at the thought and I started shaking and crying, not wanting to live. I did not feel let down by my children, but I did by you because I was under your care and I worked for you faithfully for all those years. Stephen had assured me that you would be kind and probably move with you and you would be there for me. I never was tried, I never tried to take advantage of you. Where I temporarily went to, I did not have cell signals, so I canceled that company. So I got another provider with a new number. I don't have an internet or phone service where I'm at now. The motorhome has major problems and it has been very difficult to function. 
no air conditioning, no water. Stephen flew back from Canada and has been with me ever since. We spend most of our time during the heat at a water's edge. I am not okay, and I wonder what happened to the sweet Julie I knew. Hiring an attorney is a waste of money. I care deeply for you, and our family would give our life to see you saved in God's kingdom. I know that finance, the financing your new home has been difficult. The fire has been difficult for us all. Just imagine for a moment how God sees all of this. I am just now reading your many texts. I feel very sad by them. It has been very difficult not having internet all these months. Stephen just explained to me that I need to write you a letter, so I hope this helps you to understand. He has been trying to keep problems from me and provide housing. I have been making payments on the motorhome since it was purchased, and I have just spent a little time in it. I would like to fix everything, and I would continue to pay the loan till paid off. If I get money from PG&E or other source, I am open for honest, reasonable, respectful payoff. Please accept my sincere apology for any added stress you have experienced because of the motorhome. We have never tried to hide it from you or purposely ignored your demands. It is fully insured and licensed. God will make a way for you and your financial challenges. We must humble ourselves and pray and he will hear our cries. I look forward to making trips with you in the motorhome and we can put these hurt feelings in the past. We need peaceful relationship to enjoy good health. A broken spirit dries up the bones. All things work together for good to them that love God sincerely, Constance.